Cat. It's Maximus here, this time with a review. These are promotional products of Viver's Half Inch Impact Socket Sets. For at least off their website, when I added it all up, it was about $235 for the full 90 piece set of metric and fractional, short well and deep well, six point half inch drive impacts. We'll take a quick look at all these. And I've actually, I have half inch drive six point impact sockets, but they've all been kind of piecemeal, kind of based off Husky set, short Husky sets I bought almost 20 years ago. And I've always wanted to get the Sunex. I did get the 12 point Sunex short well master sets. I just haven't been able to get the money together for the six point ones. And to put that off, the Sunex is what I'd recommend, but it's about $350 for the equivalent set off Sunex. I believe their warranty is going to be a little bit better, but if you're on a budget, uh, it's hard to beat 235 bucks for 90 sockets. This happens to be the 26 piece metric. Interestingly enough, they kind of have the case a little bit different where they have the 10 and the 11 millimeter up at the top of the case. They do plastic wrap them all. Halfway decent case. It is indeed 10 through 36. Does not include an 8 or a 9 or a 37 or a 38 millimeter. Also, and I found even with the Sunex sets, they all, none of them come with the 31 millimeter, although you can custom order that individual socket. Let me start getting these unwrapped. A lot of little baggies. Anyway, these are around 40-50% cheaper than the Sunexes, and uh, I think the steel is pretty good on these. Certainly good for the money. Certainly equivalent to Pittsburgh quality. They are fluted both on the driven and drive ends have a proper side hole for the impact laser etch but no roll stamping so they save money on the roll stamping and a couple sockets they do use the same uh, billet which saves them a little bit of money there's only a couple there I will say I've looked through all these sets uh, and they were just shipped to me random from Amazon these weren't like hand selected and I didn't have any duplicates but I've I recently watched YouTube videos where people have ordered proto and snap on socket sets and ended up with duplicates it seems to be one of the most common issues with big sets is manufacturers making sure they only get one in each individual socket speaking of the same billet size we have the 15 and 16 millimeter here but if we look we can see that they're exact same stock size so what that ends up meaning is that the 15 millimeters like extra thick wall super duty 16 millimeters pretty standard if we step up to the 17 millimeter, we can see they did go up to another stock size there, but that ends up happening. Once again, here on the 18 and the 19 millimeter, same thing, same stock size, 18 millimeter just ends up having a little bit thicker walls, which for a budget set, that's kind of the whole point. And it's the whole reason I even took these as a promo product is because uh, they were master sets and to tell you the truth, <laughs> even if these aren't great, free is better than nothing. But once again, I think the Sunex sets are certainly better, but they're going to be, once again, around $350 for all the sets. I think this particular set from Sunex on Amazon was like $120, where it's like $70 from Viva or something like that. So besides not having the 31 millimeter, which none of them seem to, um no rust on the sockets they're not all beat up and dinged up overall they're really just not that bad i read a lot of reviews on these even tried a couple out they don't seem to be they seem to be easily as good as the capri sockets the capri socket impact sockets are also a little bit soft i think these are actually just a little bit harder than the capris it's intrinsic but the little bit of impacting i've done I just haven't seen that much smushing rolling right around the drive end or around the corners of the flutes, which is where sockets always seem to wear out the first. Taking a look at just some of the other sets, they're basically equivalent. The cases are pretty thick, pretty heavy duty. Only caveat is that they're just using uh, plastic webbing for a hinge, which will eventually fatigue regular plastic uh, latches, but they're overall not that bad. Looking at the fractional, fractional is a 19 piece set, you still don't need as many sizes, but it is actually pretty complete. Fractional sets tend to be, for what they are, a bit more complete because metric sets tend to have to do every millimeter, where fractional sets tend to be just in sixteenths of an inch. 
and the 19 pieces really is uh, essentially a master set because we're going all the way down to 3 8 it may not have a 5 16 but still 3 8 is pretty small you'll <laughs> remove any 3 8 fastener that uh, you encounter with a half inch drive impact socket 3 8 all the way up to inch and a half and of course, less common sizes, 1 7 16 3 8 1 5 16 and the ubiquitous 1 and 3 16 which you actually I've run into needing a few times, but hardly any sets ever come with it. Anyway, once again, kind of the same store. We have a couple sizes here. I believe this 11 16 and the 3 quarter inch. Once again, same stock. So the 11 16 ends up having just a bit thicker of a wall than the 3 quarter inch. As far as dings, hurting through this, a couple little dings there, a little ding there. This is about the most beat up socket I've seen so far digging through all these sets. Sizing seems to be pretty decent. Anyway, once again, you know, this is the kind of thing that would be like a Harbor Freight Pittsburgh set, but for some reason, Harbor Freight uh, doesn't have sets like these, these big master sets, and it's something they would think all my viewers would know they would sell the absolute tar out of. If they had people walked in the stores and saw these master sets for the real reasonable prices, like this fractional set is, I think, like 55, 60 bucks, something like that. And you just get every size. And really, if you, you know, use the inch a whole bunch and just pound the tar out of it or actually end up splitting it, you know, when you split impact sockets, this is what they end up doing. They end up just cracking right at the flutes. And when you put just way too much torque on them, you almost never break the drive end. You can see this impact sockets had to really been beat up then you know you replace the specific socket with one nicer you know one you know proto socket like this will set you back 15 bucks or something like that 20 bucks if that's the size that you really tend to pound out and then many of the other times you know 99 or 90 not 99 but 95 percent of the time sockets of this quality are gonna do the job that you need them to do and many times you just uh, really could use one of these larger sizes, axle nuts, something like that, where you just only use them occasionally. And then it gives you more money to spend on other stuff. We'll take a quick look at the short wells. You know, I appreciate the idea of them actually individually wrapping them like this, but to tell you the truth, you know, since the wool's so awash in plastics anyway, I would really prefer that they just oil these down. You gotta oil your impact sockets anyway so they don't uh, get rusty. But I prefer they just oil them down and put them in the case instead of having a zillion little plastic baggies just because um, there's a lot of extra plastic waste it's additional expense for the, both the production of the baggies and paying somebody even if it's not very much in you know China or whatever the where these are made still gotta have somebody sit there and individually wrap every one of these darn sockets so these sets could be just a little bit cheaper and they could be better for the environment just by oiling them rather than having just once again a zillion little baggies. You can see the difference here. This is the metric 26 piece set. This case is just a little bit wider so they don't have the socket, the individual sockets up front. So it's probably um, like, they probably sell more short well than deep well. So this is probably just a newer production, a newer case. Um, for these short wells where the deep wells is probably just a slightly older production. This is probably the only real defect I can see here is this the finish didn't quite I don't know if that's rubbing during shipping, it may be. Other than that, you know, they're just fine. And to just do some comparisons, one, what I mean by these are master sets, but not super master, I would say. Because like here, you know, I do have a Sunex 9 millimeter here. This happens to be a proto 8 millimeter, same as 516. So that is super overkill socket for half inch drive. But if we do compare, say, relatively like for like, we do have a Sunex here, 10 millimeter versus their 10 millimeter. Of course, Sunex does part of what you're paying for is getting roll stamping on the Sunex. Anyway, they're following the same size, the same height. They actually have a bit more taper there that may just allow a little bit more clearance in certain situations. But the socket body is definitely a bit thicker than the Sunex overall. And that may just be because the metal isn't quite as good as the Sunex. So Sunex can get away with just being a little bit thinner. 
nonetheless, you know, if you can do this along with their big 29 piece three quarter inch set, which I reviewed a while ago, uh, it's about $400 to get 119 sockets and half inch and three quarter inch and really pretty much everything you need. We'll do one, we'll look at the final set here. And here's our little short well set. There was some kind of defect here in the case where what's happening is causing the sockets to rock back and then the case kind of gets bound up there. So that's the only real defect I can find with really any of this, any of the cases or anything. So at least they're decently molded. Once again, this is the fractional set. And overall, you know, not a lot else to say. I've already shown all the sets here. Did want to get through them all. And once again, for 235 or less than 250 bucks for 90 for a full 90 piece set of metric and fractional deep and short six point half inch drive impact sockets um, even if they're not the best and even if there are some little things which is kind of interesting I think they're expecting the 15 16 to be as a taller format as the socket sizes increase like the one inch would be taller than some of those smaller sizes seems like there is a the 15 16 they thought was going to be longer or used to be so they're kind of a little bit of funkiness there it's not any kind of a big deal but other than that for the price especially for somebody who just wants to have all the sizes available but doesn't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars um, on more professional grade sets I think these really are a viable option especially for the convenience of just not you know of being able to find the socket that's going to be the right size for whatever you're working on to tell you the truth and uh, this will pretty much cover it all most of the you know passenger vehicle wow uh, axle nuts to just about everything you're going to be working on you know if you're working on class 8 trucks semi trucks that type of stuff heavy equipment you probably are buying more expensive tools but if you're just starting out even in a position like that you can get the whole 90 pieces for real cheap and then as you wear out or break sockets then you just piece together off of whatever the from the tool trucks the sizes and what you'll end up finding is probably over five or ten years is that about a third of the sockets you've replaced and two-thirds of them are still going to be these original Viver sockets that have just you know you haven't needed or only needed a couple times and they've worked out and you ended up you know saving yourself some money it allows you to buy a bigger toolbox or more variety of tools that's kind of why uh, I decided to do a video about them anyway Really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.